Hey, what's up, people? So we're going to talk a little bit about ecclesiology today. And that's just kind of what is the church. Um, a book that I would highly recommend reading is Spirit Empowered Church, um, an Acts 2 ministry model. Um, kind of a, It's kind of an overview, kind of the undergrading of what we're going to be talking about today with ecclesiology. How should the church operate? The foundation of the church is compassion. The, the, the Bible shows us that the people of faith are the community of compassion. And that's at the basis of everything is compa compassion and how you treat the broken is a direct ref reflection of how you see your relationship with God. Yeah, how how we view the gospel that we've received is is reflected by how we treat the broken. So here's the deal: it, at the core, even when we talk, I'm a revival guy. Okay, got saved in the Brownsville revival. At the core of revival is compassion from the Lord upon broken people. Okay, that it is a revival movement, which is what which the Assemblies of God is a revival movement came out of the Azusa Street revival. It was compassion for broken people. That was what marked the early history of the Assemblies of God was just having compassion upon the poor, and that's how it really exploded all the way across the country. So there's no getting around that. One of the things that I would ask is, what is the job of the church? The job of the church is to love broken people. And so you, you can't get around that the, the, the thrust of compassion now, so, but how do you do this? How, it, it's easy to look at this as a, an idea, but how does it work out? Here's the thing, you need a vision. You know, uh, Annalie Stanley says it like this, um, you state it, you cast it, you repeat it, you celebrate it, you embrace it, and you reproduce it. And so you have to have a vision for, for how to make and how to reach the lost. And you do that by casting vision, stating it, celebrating it, celebrating the victories in, uh, for the people to buy into it, that they are part of the mission to reach the lost. And that's how churches grow. Okay? And you also need core values. Some core values obviously have to be the four cardinal truths that we hold as a movement, the baptism in the Holy Spirit, the initial physical evidence of praying in unknown tongues, divine healing, and Jesus is coming soon. Those values drive the Great Commission. Okay, so the, you ha like I said, you have to have a, uh, an emphasis on the work of the Spirit, and it also is driven by compassion for people. Passion for God, compassion for people. So here's kind of the challenge that I believe many churches have today is they need to grow deeper and wider at the same time. You, you, you got to grow deeper in the things of God and let the gospel kick root and transform people's lives. But you also need to grow wider. The, the book of Acts says that they grow in number daily. It is biblical to grow. And it's not just deep. It's also wide. Okay. So, basically, the ecclesiology of the movement is serve compassionately. The broken, the downcast, the hurting, the, the people that have been betrayed. It doesn't matter who they are. Jesus died for them, so we reach them. So, that's really kind of the thrust of what it means to be an Acts 2 church and to be a Pentecostal movement 
It's not necessarily just do you pray in tongues on a regular basis. It isn't necessarily e even our view of how long a woman's hair is or does a man, ha does he need to shave and some of that crazy stuff. And do you have a TV in your home? Well, you know, that, that hell of vision, that one-eyed devil. is more than that, all that stuff and a lot of that stuff is in our past, thank God, is we need to be men and women who love the Lord and out of that love flows compassion for people and any church that doesn't operate from a place of compassion for broken people um, I don't see how they'll exist long term because that's how that's how the the book of Acts grew that's how the Pentecostal movement grew and that is how we need to grow so I hope this helps somebody. Um, let me know if it did. If it didn't, I don't, I mean, cool. But I, I, I really feel like this is what the Lord is saying on how we do church. And I just wanted to put it out there. God bless you.